Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another JVS television review this time. So, this television review is of a show that I grew up on, that I absolutely love, that I've seen in the series in total probably all 1,100 episodes of it. I think we're about 1,100 episodes between the original series, uh, uh, the first spinoff, which was SVU, and then the second one was Criminal Intent. And then it's it's a it's trial and jury one that lasted one season, and then the Law and Order UK one that I've seen a couple episodes of. But this is a series revival of Law and Order. This is the twenty first official season, as this is not a reboot; they're just continuing the storyline. The twenty first official season of Law and Order, and I know what you're thinking: how hard and how difficult is it to attempt to do a Law and Order review? I'm going to say extremely hard. Extremely difficult to do a Law & Order review because all the episodes move in the exact same way. But this is the first episode of The Return. There is not going to give you the name of the episode. I'm just going to give you a synopsis of the episode. Then we're going to quickly talk about the characters, the new characters, and how this one possibly shows potential for how the season should move and how this revival is going to work. So for the very first Return episode of Law & Order, here's the quick synopsis of it. Newly acquainted partners Detective Kevin Bernard and Detective Frank Cosgrove investigate the murder of a notorious entertainer. A dispute over throwing out a confession creates a riff in the district attorney's office. Now, anyone who knows Law and Order knows, basically is like based on true stories, based <laughs> loosely based on reality. This one is based on Bill Cosby. Very interesting way to bring Law and Order back is to take that story and put it here. So this one is kind of based on Bill Cosby. And here are a quick introduction to the characters, just in case some of them you may know, some of them you did not know. So first one of the new cast members is Olia Halavi. She plays ADA Samantha Maroon. Then we have Jeffrey Donovan playing Detective Frank Cosgrove. And we have Catherine Mannheim playing Detective, I mean, I'm sorry, Lieutenant Kate Dixon. And we have Hugh Darcy playing ADA Nolan Price. He is the lead prosecutor, the new lead prosecutor taking over from Sam Waterston, who is back here as Jack McCoy. And I forget the other one who, the one who played it at the end of the last season, who, who I was hoping would return for this revival. But then we also have Anthony Anderson coming back as Detective Kevin Bernard. And I know the first time, lots of people did not like Anthony Anderson in Law & Order years ago you like wow it's been 11 years so like 11 years ago 13 years ago when he came on law and order a lot of people did not like his character but here he's back and it kind of it kind of helps out because he is the one thread that feels normal for most people now we all know the way law and order is set up this is the show the tech the detectives catch the crook and then we get to see the proceedings that happen if the criminal gets off or if he goes to jail or anything of that nature it's completely different from an svu or a criminal organization a new one with detective stabler like this is the original so this one highlights more of the law side of it than anything else here and first impressions of this remake it feels like it's missing something. The storyline is cool. The cops, played by Jeffrey Donovan and Anthony Anderson, we have a little issue between them two about how they how they go about arresting someone. I'm trying to be very vague on what happens here, but it, it's it's a 2022 issue. 2021-2022 issue on how they get their suspect and preconceived notions of each other from getting this suspect. Like, it's, it feels very in the moment, their little argument or their disagreement, and you kind of wonder, are they going to frame the rest of the season this way? I hope not, because that's possibly the weakest part of this episode. And uh, Jeffrey Donovan does his best to overact in most of this first episode. It just feels so out of place for the normal law and order where the cops were always kind of more reserved than he's being in this episode and then we have uh hugh darcy who's coming from hannibal was the last thing i remember seeing him in 
and him taking over this huge role with a lot of prestige, a lot of everything. Like the law and order lead prosecutor is like the pentacle of of courtroom shows. Like this is a a highlighted position to be in. And here it just doesn't feel right. But it's maybe it's not supposed to because this is the first time we're seeing these characters in this universe and it's the first time in 11 years we're getting to see law and order again and it possibly getting its feet wet to get people back into it now all the flaws that i think this episode had it, it's on the weaker side of a law and order episode which says a lot because again there's only 1100 of these but it's still watchable this is still like comfort food comfort television <laughs> like any Law and Order episode, you could just slide into and just enjoy it because everything is self-contained. So to me, you can't play too much on the flaws of the first episode just because you kind of know the second episode is going to be still a self-contained episode while the characters will continue the episodes are self-contained. So there's nothing to overly hold on to that makes you say, I'm not going to watch this revival. If you like Law and Order, if you love Law and Order, which most of America at this point does, and my fact, most of the world does this is going to feel right at home for you. If you are just accustomed to the SVUs or the organized crime one or any of the new Dick Wolf shows like F the FBI shows or even the Chicago shows, if you're accustomed to those shows, this one can throw you off a little bit because Law & Order moves slower than those episodes. It's not really action-packed. It's way more about the, the process of finding someone guilty or innocent. That's the way Law & Order moves. So if you haven't seen the original Law & Order, maybe go back and try to watch a couple of episodes so you get into the gist of how this show moves. At that point, you may love this episode. Or again, you may just say, yeah, it's not the best, but Law & Order's back. That's what everybody cares about here. So check it out. Law & Order, it debuts Thursday. I'll say February the 24th. Thursday, February 24th, it comes back out at 10 o'clock. I think it actually follows the rest of the Law & Order show, which is crazy that you get a night of just nothing but Law & Order shows. But check it out. Let us know what you think. This has been another JVS Television Review. Peace, people.